a Mel Steven estava fazendo essa apresentação no Brasil, ele tinha vindo para um festival de cinema, e tinha se apresentado em São Paulo, foi assim até mesmo que nós nos conhecemos, né? e ele veio ao, Brasil, veio ao Rio, nós fizemos uma, uma sessão de cinema uh, bastante concorrida naquele momento, que era basicamente o lançamento desse filme aqui no, uh, no Rio de Janeiro. Ele vai contar um pouquinho para vocês sobre o filme, o filme foi realmente uma... uma foi talvez um pioneiro mesmo, apresentando essa questão né, dentro da, da comunidade ortodoxa, mas também pioneiro até mesmo para a discussão dessas, dessas questões uh, em geral para a comunidade judaica como um todo. E uh, extremamente impactante, vocês vão ter a oportunidade de ver o filme. Então, uh, vou passar a palavra a ele, ele vai nos fazer uma abertura e depois a gente vai ter a oportunidade de fazer uma discussão, uma conversa com ele. Good evening. Uh, this film is known in the in the gay community as as the gay Jewish community as the turning point moment. Uh, there's prior to trembling and after trembling in the Jewish community uh, because trembling offered the first picture of Uh, a gay identity that wasn't um, strange and 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 and, uh, and it wasn't outside the experience of the Jewish world. In other words, this was the first time traditional Jews could see people that looked like them, that sounded like them, that were gay or lesbian, and it it changed the communities experience of what the questions were. Uh, do you want to translate? Uh, uh, just, uh, I think people are supposed to be uh, English speaking in this, in this room. Okay, good. Uh, so, uh, okay. Everyone understands? Yes. Okay, good. So, uh, it was 1996. I was in Jerusalem for a two-year study period. Uh, on the Mandel, Mandel Fellowship, and uh, I had, I was struggling with my own issues around homosexuality, and I decided to start the gay men's study group in Jerusalem. I put signs up on the university, and uh, people tore them down, and I put more signs up, and people tore them down, and I put more signs up, and I finally got a group of about 12 Then, and we started what was called Moach Gavra, which means male mind. And we, we began to study the materials around homosexuality in the Jewish tradition, and in a range of even wider and outside the Jewish tradition frames of reference to. And word got around in the Jerusalem community. So two things happened. The first thing was a group of Israeli activists who wanted to create a gay and lesbian community center in Jerusalem called, you know, they knocked on my door and said, are you the rabbi people are talking about? Would you help us build the Jerusalem open house? So I agreed to begin to go to those meetings. The second thing that happened is that Sandy Dubowski, the filmmaker, knocked on my door and said, hello, I'm Sandy Dubowski. I'm making a film about gay Orthodox Jews would be it. And I told him, no, you're crazy, you're nuts, you're out of your mind, never not interested, goodbye. And he called back, he came to my apartment six times to try to convince me. He said, I just want to show you, I have some interviews, just look. And by the sixth time, over a period of two years, Uh, he got me not to agree to be in the film, but to agree to be filmed in an in interview. And then he said, I'll take the tape and I'll put it in a, in a drawer. <coughs> and I, I won't promise, I promise not to use it unless you give permission. Well, it took a while, but I finally decided that this was a worthwhile project. And as you'll see, it's an incredible, uh, it, Sandy, Uh, struggled to find uh, um, the, uh, the, the characters in this movie 
for about seven years. And I can tell you that a number of the people who are in the film where you will see pulled out one, pulled out seven times, one pulled out five times, meaning pulled out, meaning I can't do it, I can't do it. And he get he came he brought they brought he brought them back. So he is a very persuasive, persistent man. And it took him um, a long while, I mean, a total of about 10 years to make the film. And it won many awards. What's most exciting about it for me is I'm in it very, very, very little. But I was so excited about the, the film is that I agreed to travel with him for a year and a half. And we traveled all over the world bringing the film to five, I, 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 we counted them up. I was in 500 screenings of this film all over the world. So one of them, a few of them, were in Rio and in Sao Paulo. And uh, that is where <coughs> the first time we met. And so this is a little bit of an anniversary of sorts. Um, I mean, I think almost exactly 10, a little more, maybe 10 years since the first time it appeared in Rio. Uh, I, if you haven't seen it, it's a very powerful and moving and funny film, and um, but dark. So we can talk about that. When the film is over, I'll come back and what we'll first do is just entertain your questions and then open it up for any questions at all. I'm, I'm sure you will enjoy it. Uh, it's about an hour and 20, 25 minutes. Um, enjoy.